You're listening to The Hikam with Sheikh Zahir Bekas of the Lotri Foundation. In this podcast, Sheikh Zahir explains the aphorisms from Ibn Atta al-Laz Fim's Book of Wisdoms, Al-Hikam al-Ata'iyya, a classical manual of spiritual development. Visit secretshub.org for online courses, our reliable answer service, and engaging media. وَنَفَعْنَا بِمَا عَلِمْتَنَا وَزِدْنَا عِلْمًا بِفَضْلِكَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَصَلَّى آمين So we're in uh, the Hikam al Ta'ala um, So he says, number 55 uh, رحمت عليه He says, الأنوار so he said the uh, lights or the nur, uh, the lights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spiritual lights, are the riding mounts, the riding mounts of hearts and of the innermost soul or the inmost soul. The, the anwar are when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings light to the heart uh, like the light of Iman. These are the lights, the uh, nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that comes to the heart and they come to the heart in order to enable it or in order to illuminate it, in order for it to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be, uh, to gain the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to gain purity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he says that these lights are mataya. Mataya are the, are the saddles, the riding mounts, the saddle that one puts on horses or on camels uh, when one wants to ride them. So they are the saddles of the, of the heart, the light uh, themselves are the riding mounts. Uh, of the heart and of the innermost soul. Why is that the case? That they are the riding mounts. Uh, obviously the riding mount, the mataya, are for people to use. And it's done for specific purposes in order for one to ride. Uh, and to, to ride a horse if it's placed on a horse or to ride a camel if it's placed on a camel. So the anwar, as he says, the, these lights, the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, are, are the riding months of the heart, meaning that they enable the heart to do something. What do they enable the hearts to do? If one's heart is illumined with the light, light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it is uh, replenished with the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what does it, uh, what does it enable one to do. What enables one to do is to have clarity of the heart, to have presence of the heart with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It enables the heart to, uh, to be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It enables the heart to, enables the heart to see and to discern <coughs> the directions that, uh, that it should go in. It enables the heart to discern guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what it enables the heart to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends guidance to the believers at every moment. At every moment there is guidance uh, for the believer. There is direction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is directing one towards and uh, directing uh, uh, one away from things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends. And so How is it that the heart can discern these things? Through the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the heart being illumined and purified. If the heart is pure, then it is able to clear, it's able to see clearly. It's able to have insight and it's able to move uh, to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants one to move towards and enables one to stay away from. Uh, from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala objects to or what he has prohibited. Uh, 
the other condition of the heart that's opposite is the heart becomes uh, dark. The heart becomes inflamed with darknesses, dhulumat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لِخْرُجِكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that he takes you from darkness to light. يُخْرِجُكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ What does it mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He's not physically taking you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not physically taking you min dhulumat from darkness to light, meaning what your eyes can see. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is physically taking you what your eyes can see. Min dhulumat from darkness to light. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking your heart from being trapped in darkness, being trapped in ghafla, in heedlessness. What is what is uh, heedlessness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is ghafla, it's called ghafla. Uh, that one is completely heedless of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean that one does not even uh, compute or one does not even consider uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when one is, wants to do something or when one, wants, when one wants to say something. One does not even consider Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in it. Hmm? This is the heart that is dhulumat, that has ghafla, heedlessness. And ghafla is a form of darkness. Ghafla is a form of darkness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to take your heart out of darkness and He wants to put it into light so that it becomes illumined. And so the, the anwar, the lights that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places are then, the, uh, are then they benefit the heart because now the heart can see guidance. The heart can see how, uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants one to do, what he wants one to abstain from, and guidance becomes more clear. Hmm? Guidance becomes more clear. And what is, and how does the heart become, how does the heart uh, become ready for the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How does the heart become uh, ready to, to receive the anwar of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By remembering him in all forms of remembrance. By all forms of remembrance. Whether that remembrance is in salah or whether that remembrance is, is recitation of Quran or, mem- or whether that remembrance is doing something good for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether that remembrance is helping someone whether that remembrance is saying a good word to someone or remaining silent, uh, whatever it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what uh, will bring nur to the heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah bi dhikrullahi taqma'innu al-kulub. Is it not by the remembrance of Allah that the hearts find uh, tranquility? Because a heart that is, uh, a heart that uh, is in the state of ghafla, that in the state of heedlessness to Allah, a heart that is in uh, that is in dhul, that is in dhulma, a heart that is uh, overshadow or in darkness, is a heart that is busied in this world, this world, and being busy in it, meaning that one is not. You can be busy in this world by fulfilling the rights of others, which is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can be busy in this world by helping others. You can be busy in this world working because you have people to feed hmm, uh, and to take care of. Being busy, the heart being busy in this world is outside of the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's outside of the rights that you have to fulfill. It is the desiring of this world. And when one desires this world, then one becomes busy with this world. Because one want, may want fame, or one, one may want access. Access, you know, uh, one may want more than what uh, is uh, satisfactory or what is, what is a need. One goes into desires now. So being busy in this world, the heart being busied, is what brings about, is what uh, is a sign of the heart being in darkness. The heart being in, in light and having nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having anwar, is a heart that is 
uh, is spent in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether that is in the mosque or whether that is at one's workplace or whether that is one behind one's wheel of a car or whether that is in a group of people, the heart still remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the heart is and the heart is conscious. The heart is conscious of uh, what is being done by one or what is being said or what is being heard. That is a heart that has nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that heart is conscious and does not accept a sin if it's done by one or does not accept a sin that is done by someone else in one's presence. That's the heart that has light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in it. It does not accept the sin that one does oneself and it does not accept the sin that is done in front of one in one's presence. It does not accept it. So it will not accept the heart, will not accept a, uh, someone uh, talking to you about someone else or uh, Ill, Ill repute of someone in front of one's presence. A heart that has the light of Allah does not accept this and will never accept this. It will not accept a sin being done in front of one. It will not. A heart that has that is illumined by the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never accept these things. They will never accept these things. Hmm? And it will leave one feeling uh, very uh, dejected. It will leave one feeling bad, in a bad state. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do you get light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fact that the heart is mutma'inna, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah bi dhikrullah tatma'inna al qulub, is it not by the dhikr of Allah in Surah Al Rad that the heart finds tranquility? The heart that is tranquil is the heart that is concerned about Allah or the heart that remembers Allah. That's the heart that is mutma'inna because it's not busy with this world. The world is not attached to the heart. The whole world is not attached to the heart. The world is just used as a means of uh, fulfilling, uh, fulfilling the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the rights of others. This world is just used as a means. It's not used as a goal. It's not a goal. It is a means. It's just a means. And so the heart that, that has, a person that has that understanding, then the dhikr and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring tranquility to the heart. It will bring tranquility to the heart. And it will not, uh, it will not reject the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, it will accept it. And it will, uh, it will not only accept it, but it will leave the heart uh, with insight. And it will leave the heart knowing right and wrong. And knowing purity. The purity of the heart, uh, when one's heart is pure, uh, when the heart is pure, what does the heart, uh, what does the heart, the heart can tell you what is right and wrong, even if one does not know the hukum, even if one does not know the ruling of something, and there's lots of things we may not know the ruling of, lots of things. We may know what is far to ayn. there's things that you may not know the ruling of that may have some shubha in it, may have some ambiguity, some things have ambiguity in it. Now, and the Prophet Islam told us about these in al halal bayinun wa in al haram bayinun wa bainahuma mutashabihat or in other narrations wa bainahuma umurun mutashabihat. The halal is clear, the Prophet Islam said, and the haram is clear. And between them are the unclear, the, an- the things that are ambiguous. Umurun mutashabihat. Mutashabihat are the ambiguous things that you have to consider, delve into, to understand where it lies. Is it haram? Is it closer to halal? Is it closer to haram? What are those things? Hmm? So a heart that has mutma'inna, that is tranquil, a heart that has nur of Allah, that heart will, that heart will tell you whether that thing that you may not know of, that ruling that you may not know of, of a particular thing, particular uh, matter, 
whether it's closer to haram or halal. The heart will discern it. Hmm? That's why when the companion came to ask the Prophet ﷺ concerning a matter, he says, ifta al-qalbak. He said, seek the, ifta al-qalbak, seek the answer with your heart. Seek the answer with your heart. Because there are things that you will come across in this world that you don't have time to call the shaykh. You don't have time to call the imam. You don't have time to call some. You have to make a decision. In that light, a heart that has nur of Allah, is illumined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will be able to discern what is the right thing to do. That heart. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, ifta qalbak. And ifta here is from the word fatwa. You don't have to call someone. You may not have the time to call someone for a fatwa, a legal opinion. No. He says, seek it with your heart. How does your heart feel about this matter? How does your heart feel about this matter? And if the heart is connected with or filled with the light of Allah and is connected to Allah, the heart will lead you in the right direction. The heart will lead you in the right direction. Because the light is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you get it by the remembrance of Allah in all of its form. You get it by the remembrance of Allah in all of its form. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us, forgive us, forgive our elders, our parents, give them good health and long life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us on the deen, protect our, save and give those who passed away his rahmah, his makfira and his shade on that day with no shade except his. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify us in our hearts, purify the mu'mineen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us, forgive us, have mercy upon us, forgive all of our brothers and our sisters faced with difficulties. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala farazan hum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them from the dhulm of this world and from the dhulm of those who are oppressing them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save them, protect them, feed them, close them, give them safe refuge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secure them in places that will protect them and with people who will secure them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, protect all those who are faced with difficulties. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heal those who are sick, nurse them back to good health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our children, keep them on the straight path, make their footing firm in his deen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in knowledge and practice of the deen and forgive us and have mercy upon us. Subhanahu wa hamdik shiruna ila ila ant astaghfiru ka wa atubu ilaik wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin Thank you for listening to the Hikam with Sheikh Zahir Bekas. Help Seekers Hub spread the light of guidance to millions around the world by supporting us through monthly donations by going to seekershub.org slash donate. Your donations are tax deductible in the U.S. and Canada.